Welcome back everybody, it's Lance from Honeycutt's Brush. Today I'm going to be replacing this windshield. As you can tell, it's not here right now. Uh, it's actually in the truck. I've got it right behind the camera right there. I went and got it replaced. I decided I was going to replace it at the company that we bought it from. Because if I tried to put it in and broke the windshield, it would have been on me. But if they did it, it would have been on them. So I spent a little extra money on it just for them to put it in there for me. I do have to put the windshield wiper on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But right now we're going to take fragile windshield, <laughs> to say the least, fragile windshield, and put it back on the skid steer. So let's get to it. Not, not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. One of the perks of this skid steer is that this whole windshield just comes right out and it's a four bolt mount which I think is one of the best things that could be done with it simply because when that window does break I'd much rather be able to just take it right on out so I could get, continue working and doing what I need to it just I wish the windshield was a little bit more uh, durable uh, it's basically the windshields tempered so it, if anything hits it wrong uh, at a sharp angle or anything, it's gonna break into a million pieces and that's what it did. I got some Lexan, which is, the Lexan is, is, is way stronger than that wind, windshield ever will be. And we're gonna build a frame that goes all the way around it, eighth inch steel, and then on the sides, we'll have uh, expanded metal and close this whole area in. So the windshield wiper still works, but the Lexan, I'll be able to slide that Lexan in like so and pull it out when I don't want it. So when I'm doing a skid steer job, with the grapple bucket and the mulcher leg sand i can slide it in and use it and then when i don't want to let's say we're doing alfalfa or we're doing hay or we're doing yard work or something like that where the leg sand may get in the way i can slide it out and be able to just use the regular windshield uh, so we'll get to that later but right now i'm just going to go ahead and install the uh the windshield this thing is heavy this is the back side. This is where the windshield wiper is gonna go. I'm actually gonna install that once I get it on the machine. The windshield wiper is gonna go in these two holes right here. The hard part about this windshield is this, this rubber has a seal in it on top of putting the windshield in. So you put the windshield in, it doesn't seal it. This little rubber rope that's right here goes all the way around it and it allows you to tighten it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing back on there. I'm gonna grab me a couple bolts so I can get it on there. But uh, for the time being, we're gonna get this thing set up. So let's do it. started okay okay so it's two down let's get these last two on there we go so that just sits right in and then these bolts they've got a lot of play so if you want to put something to cover this windshield up, you can. And that's what we're going to do later. I've actually got some, some really good kids at our school that know how to weld and uh, know how to run a saw. Let's get this thing on there. And I've made them the template. And that's going to be their project at school for the next couple days. Now that it's back in, I'm going to go ahead and tighten this thing all the way down. And it should be good to go. And the thing about it is, is once you get it on there, there's a seal around it. No water gets into the cab and the longer it stays on there, the better the seal gets. Oh, that breeze feels good. It is a scorch right here today and humid. 
I'd say that's tight enough. I'll let it move around a little bit and then we'll tighten it up a little more later. Okay, so here's the windshield wiper and it's just one plug. This one goes right here like so. All right. And then this is gonna sit down right beside it like so. And then this plugs in, it's gonna be on the, it's gonna be on the inside like this. And this actually sort of stays to the outside and plugs in back here. But what we gotta do, as you can see, tempered glass just breaks into a hundred pieces. So I'm gonna get my finger out of there before I really cut myself. We're gonna get this glass out. It's just a matter of unscrewing this and this and pulling them off, sliding this piece of equipment on and sliding these back on without breaking the glass again. We want it snug, but not snug enough that it's gonna crack the glass. Just like that. Snug enough. And then last but not least. All right, moment of truth. Oh yeah, there we go. Perfect. Turn this off. That's that.